welcome back. Today we're going to teach how to make some purple dead nettle soothing oil. This infused oil is antibacterial, antifungal and it's anti-inflammatory. So you can apply it to your skin if you've got any itchy rashes or irritated skin and it soothes it. Yeah. And this lovely little plant is really commonly found. You can use the leaves, the flowers and the stalks. It's packed full of goodness and I use this oil on my little itchy rashes I get on my hands sometimes. So come with us, it's super easy and we'll show you how to make it. So you will need some purple dead nettles, about a bowl full. We use the flowers, leaves and the stalks for this recipe. And then we've got a carrier oil. So we use sweet almond oil. So it's really high in vitamin E, so it's good for your skin. Um, but you can use olive oil, which you can find in supermarkets really easy. And you'll also need a plate, some paper. We're going to use baking paper, but you could just use normal, like just loose paper even and a bowl, heat proof bowl for your oven. First thing you do to make your purple nettle infused oil is cover your plate in your bit of paper, put your flowers and spread them out, then put them somewhere in the sun or in the airing cupboard, anywhere that they'll dry out and that can take from three days to a week. So after one week, it will be dry like that, nice and crunchy. Then just add that to a jar. Like that. Pop it all in there. And this is how, you don't have to worry too much about the measurements of oil. You just put it in a jar, fill that jar with oil, so it's all submerged, and that, that will be plentiful. Stir up your lovely mixture here with your dead nettles and your oil. Make sure it's all submerged, looking good. And then what you can do, Pop a lid on and pop it in a dark cupboard for about two to three weeks and all the lovely goodness will come out of the dead nettle and into the oil and then you can use it after two to three weeks. However, we've got a speedier way of doing it. We are going to pour it into this bowl. Lovely. Right, so now we have our oils and our dead nettle and we're going to make sure that all of it is covered in the oil because when you put this in the oven if it's sticking out then the dead nettle will burn and we don't want burnt flavours in our oil so that's really submerged our oven has been on for about five to ten minutes on the highest heat we're going to turn the oven off Hmm, there we go. And then all we do is pop this in the oven for four to five hours. As the oven cools down, the heat from the oven will help the dead nettle infuse with the oil. Here's one we made this morning. This has been infusing for about five hours and it's ready to be strained. Um, Da -da -da. Now I'm going to squidge that with a spoon to get out all the oil. And there we have it. Our sweet almond dead nettle infused oil ready to soothe our itchy irritated skin it's great actually if you have any like dry patches or eczema or anything like that just rub it on and uh, it will be soothing and healing before you know it okay guys so it's 
essential oils are fantastic and we're going to use some cedarwood and a little bit of lavender. Dane loves this lovely infused oil for his itchy hands and he also loves cedar so I'm going to pop one, two, Wild. <laughs> Some lavender. You don't have to do this, but it's kind of nice for memories if you have a special scent that you have on your hands. There we go. And then whenever Dane smells the lavender and cedar wood. The children will remember my lovely cedar wood and lavender smelling hands. <laughs> Give it a little shake up. Okay. Oh. Oh, it's lovely. And there it is. Ta -da. Purple dead nettle infused oil. It's antibacterial, antifungal, and anti-inflammatory. And it's so nice. And it really does help them itchy, irritated rashes, and it helps heal them up. But more important for me, it stops them itching, so then I don't scratch them and make them worse. <laughs> <laughs> Always that phrase, if you keep itching it, it will get worse. Yeah. But no, this um, it's lovely. And this lovely little plant, the dead nettle, is so common here in Sussex and all over the UK, actually. And I've been looking at it for years and thinking it was part of the stinging nettles. Had no idea that it had so many amazing properties. And it's actually a plant all on its own. It's yeah, so it's lovely. part of the mint family. Yeah. And I like to eat it and rub it into my itchy skin <laughs> <laughs> so guys um have a go at making this at home do let us know in the comments if you have any questions we're happy to answer yeah and um follow our facebook page and our instagram that we just made because yeah. we're trendy yeah we're, we're having a go at instagram now we've um we're gonna give that a shot yeah i love photography so hopefully there'll be some nice pictures up there yeah and subscribe look after yourselves enjoy the plant world and we'll see you all next time peace peace